look very nice. Yeah, thank you. What Someone is... dressed me. I did not put this together. <laughs> what is your relationship with your grandchildren like, Adam? Uh, <laughs> They're, they're very young. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're still swimmers. <laughs> uh, where did you grow up? Where are you from originally? Uh, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. I grew up, I, I was born in Waterloo, Iowa. <gasps> no, shut up. And, uh, <laughs> liar. And, uh, and then I grew up in Omaha. If you meet somebody from Waterloo, do you, you must know them, right? I mean, it's not like you'd say, hey, we, there's a There's a connection. Yeah, there's yeah. gotta be some kind of connection. Yeah, there. we just lock eyes from across the bar. Yeah. How often do you go back? We're like, home? did you have a mullet when you were young? <laughs> you did. I sense it. How often do you get back there to Omaha? I, I go back a, a couple times. Yeah, I was just back in November. I shot my first uh, uh, stand-up special, nice. uh, which I'm excited about. Yeah, and uh, they were so cool. They gave me a day. They gave me Adam Divine Day. I have a photograph good name for the day from that. And oh. Who gave you the day? The mayor? Uh, no, the mayor was uh, busy. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I swear, she sent someone else. A uh, very nice woman. Don't know what she does, but uh, they're <laughs> like, mom. yeah, we're giving you this day. Um, <laughs> Your mom and dad were there? They were, they were so proud. I'm glad I have some moments like this where they can actually be very proud because I've done some really stupid <laughs> stuff in my career. Like my last movie, Game Over, man, like I'm pantsless and my, my uh, penis is, is hanging out. Is and that my what mom, you call it? I call it a penis. Yeah. I go penis. Okay. And, my, my mom was sitting behind me uh, uh, during the premiere, and while it's happening, and, and I'm just like, you know, on, on the screen, my mom it creeps up right behind me and goes, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad she has something where she can actually be proud. Is that where you started acting, your acting career? In Omaha? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I actually worked at a grocery store, and that's when I started. That's when I got the bug, uh -huh. uh, acting like I liked it. And <laughs> I, what, was, what was the grocery store you it, worked at? It was at? called Baker's Supermarket. OK. And no one? And, and uh, <laughs> they shot the movie about Schmidt with Jack Nicholson at the grocery store, and they were looking for extras. And I'm like, I'm in. This is my shot. And they had me stock the shelves in like, as Nicholson's like buying milk or something. And I'm like stocking the shelves. And I knew like, this is my big break. So I kept like angling back <laughs> to try to get in, in frame. A good actor finds Directors the lens. Directors love that. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. They can't and, see you if yeah. you can't see them. And Alexander Payne is like, what the <laughs> and so uh, he's like, he's like whispers to the first AD and the, the assistant director comes up to me and is like, well, he makes an announcement. He's like, hey, for all the extras, it's really just me. Uh, <laughs> this isn't Jack Nicholson. You're not uh, in a movie. You're just stocking shelves. I'm the only guy stocking shelves. Second take happens. I do the exact same thing. He goes, great. We're actually going to give you a different job. And I'm like, I'm replacing Nicholson. <laughs> and then they, they found me. And then they just had me stock shelves, just do work, do actual work <laughs> off camera. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but the shelves did get stocked. Yeah, yeah they were stocked. <laughs> did you ever meet Alexander Payne and tell him that story? Uh, no, I'm, I'm waiting to meet him. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Just punch him right in the mouth. Yeah, he, he has a list of actors he doesn't want to work with, and I think I might be at the top. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. Was I, that I, your I ruined that take. regular job that you had before I you? I had a bunch of weird jobs. I, I, uh, I worked as a baseball umpire. I was pretty bad at that. Oh, really? Yeah, I How did. old were you when you did that? I was like 13 or maybe oh. 14. Oh, that's young. Yeah. And also, don't know the rules of baseball. That's <laughs> not a bad gig to have. <laughs> That's not You great. don't know the rules. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm an umpire and a lot of authority, this little guy. <laughs> and I didn't realize that if the, the batter tips the ball and the catcher catches it, that's an out. On the third and, strike. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and I didn't know that that was the rule. And so I'm like, uh, foul ball. And, and, and this, this dad, by, by the way, these kids are seven years old. They're like six and seven. This dad loses, he's like, Jack! And he takes this little cooler he has, this little Coleman cooler, and dumps out all the trash, which is like a Pringles can and like an empty wrapper. And he goes, this is you, Blue, you're trash. You are trash, Blue. What? And me using all my authority, I'm like, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> Did he leave? <laughs>
Uh, yeah, but I could only kick him out to the parking lot, and that was only 13 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it didn't make any difference. By the way, your new movie, I enjoyed it. I oh, really yeah, liked it. It's man, called thanks. Isn't It Romantic? And yeah. it's, um, it is like kind of a parody of romantic comedies, but also is a romantic comedy. Yeah, at it's the same sort of time. the anti romantic comedy, romantic comedy. And it's uh, Rebel Wilson. She like hates. Yeah, yeah, give it up for Rebel. Yeah, she's and, really funny. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. awesome. And she produced. So she 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 really has a, a, a had a big hand in it, and she uh, her character hates romantic comedies, thinks they're stupid, and then she thinks this guy's hitting on her in a subway. He's actually trying to mug her, and uh, <laughs> she bonks her head. And when she wakes up, she's her life is now a romantic comedy. And I play her best friend uh, in the movie. Well, I when I was when it was described to me before I saw it, I was like, oh no, any movie with a bonks her head and yeah. then this happens is headed in the really? wrong I'm direction. A bonk fan. But the bonking yeah. her head, yeah. it actually worked out quite well. Yeah. Yeah. And look at you now being a lead in a romantic comedy. I, I mean I'm waiting for them to wow. figure figure it out. We went from yeah. your penis <laughs> flapping around in front of your mother right to this with nothing in between. Hollywood saw it and we're like, <laughs> we need more. <laughs> I hope Alexander Payne hears about yeah, yeah. this. That's all I'm saying. Alexander, he's <laughs> Adam Devine, everybody. His movie is called Isn't It Romantic? It opens Wednesday. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.